Come to this, come to this, come to this place. Go to Tandela, Tanda, Kungi de la Kazandela, Takashu. Part of the activity of the Dakini is to turn the mind of the of sentient beings and to awaken them to their own Buddha nature. And so the Dakini, with this uh, qualities of voice, um, uh, ha there's two. There's two. Basically, two qualities of the voice of the dakini. One is the profound words, and the one is the sweet melody. And so, um, with the if there was no profound meaning to the words, then all of the gods and demons in the spirit world couldn't be brought under her sway. If there was no sweet melody, then all of the hu people in the human realm and uh, those who have the uh, ability to, like, or mastery of worldly type of activity um, wouldn't be able to be uh, brought in under her sway. And um, so um, the Dakini always um, has those qualities of voice. This is like one of the aspects of the vo speech of the Dakini. And um, so, she says, so I heard the, uh, the sound of Jetsuma singing, and this is, um, I think it's very wonderful, it's very good, and it sounds to me like that anybody who would hear that speech, um, would, their minds would immediately be turned towards something, some kind of uh, moment of just contemplating upon the vast open nature of mind, that it would just captivate people and take their mind away from their worldly discursiveness, at least for a moment. And then because of the connection with the Dakini's um, profound mind stream, which is the essence of bodhicitta, or the will for enlightenment for all beings, then merely by hearing the voice um, becomes a means for gaining the path to liberation. And so this is what is meant by liberation upon hearing. Mel tagi tagi sosok lama tak cemburu tu dah mendut hak guru betul tu samtang guru wa. Oh ni, ya ya. Malu be? Oh ni, ni. Di mana tu je? Lasso. Mel tak ni orang la, orang kau guru wa. Hmm, lasso. And then um, she says that I tell no lie, that I have no doubt in my mind that Jetsuma is is a, a dakini of um, of a very high uh, bodhicitta. And actually, um, I know a lot about her previous incarnation, Akun Lamo, um, who um, received many offerings in her lifetime, but always uh, every single penny without any ever taking anything for herself gave this money to different monasteries in order to build stupas and statues and uh, so on. And so uh, it's obvious to me that this, this um, what we see here is the fruition of the virtue generated in her previous lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and um, there was many, um, actually many Dakinis in Tibet who were um, really fantastic female teachers that uh, many of the Lamas received teachings from. For instance, there's one Sera Khandro that um, is one of the greatest um, lineage holder Dakinis who um, was from whom comes many of the uh, practice lineages, um, especially the Nyingmapa from this one Takini Serakandro, and there's been many others. And um, um, so 
just in the same way as you know the the uh, appearing in the world as a dakini is not just like there's a dakini appearing in the world this is the fruition of um, many aeons and many lifetimes of practice of following the Buddha Dharma that are ripening in each lifetime more and more for the benefit of beings and also the um, the previously accomplished aspirations and prayers of the students to be to have that connection so there's many things that are um, working to promote the presence of the Dakini in the, uh, in this world. Anyway, whatever you can do to express your own devotion, then you should do. So, um, anyway, I'm just saying this because the more that you venerate um, Jesuma as a source of blessings and a source of teaching, then the better her voice will become. And uh, so, just uh, this is, he says, this is a very great uh, Dharma center. He's very happy to see everybody here really practicing Dharma with true heart. And this is a sign of Jetsuma's own vision and of also of all of you, of your uh, vision and your own, you know, bodhicitta to work for the benefit of beings. So he says, I'm very happy to, uh, to see all this. Yeah. Sure.